hey what's going on you guys welcome to another video man and today we're gonna do a reaction we're gonna react to another interview from club shay shay shout out to shot and sharp he has been killing it ever since that cat williams interviews um i'm guessing he's doing like a comedian run this time maybe who knows what's gonna who, who knows who he's gonna interview next time but i think right now he's doing the come um a comedian run uh he's interviewing his all type of comedians and he recently interviewed Desi Banks. If you guys don't know who Desi Banks is, he's pretty much an influencer. He does um, comedy sketches on social media. I'm not really a fan of his. I've seen a couple of his uh, sketches. Not that he's not funny. He's just the type of comedy that he does. Not really um, my thing. He does what I call hood ratchet comedy. By that I mean, he all his sketches revolve around uh baby mamas jail hip-hop violence this is that's that's the thing right that's that's what's trending now right guys like him and drewski they do that type of comedy right things like when you go to get your son from your baby mama and she tripping that type of stuff not wrong with that it's just not my thing so he talked about a lot of stuff i haven't watched the full interview that he did with chad and Shaw, but one thing that is uh got people talking is the story that he told like the, the the beginning right how he started doing comedy and that while he was chasing his dream apparently he's one of them people that wanted to make it uh on social media and i don't remember exactly when he uh started getting noticed maybe around like 2019 2020 maybe around the pandemic i don't know because other people got popping around the pandemic but he basically said that it was his dream to be a comedian i don't know if he met by stand -up. i don't think he does stand up i don't know if he met by uh going viral on social media but it was his passion and that he was chasing it but he was not working at the time and he wanted his then girlfriend to support him let's take a listen and I'll give my opinion after. Yeah, um, that's when I was first, uh, you know, in my beginning stages, of, you know, really chasing my dream of comedy. Um, and at the time, I felt like um, she didn't believe in my dream and my goals. I used to want her to support me so much. Um, I, you know, I thought there was going to be a woman that I was going to be with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot of stuff with, with, with her. You know what I'm saying? Every dime that I got, and where I was working, I, I gave it to her. The only thing I wanted to do was get me a, a haircut and, and pay my cell phone bill so I could, you know, shoot my video. Right. Um, but I felt like at the time, the, the money, uh, it wasn't coming fast enough. Right. You know, it, it wasn't there. So she went to, you need, you need to get a job. You need to do this, you need to do that. Um, well, I can't do this no more. So, you you know, you might have to, you know, go do something else. So it, it sent me to my grandmama's house. You know what I'm saying? So I was staying with my grandma for a little minute. And at that moment... But that happened like late, late at night, where that was like... Yeah, 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 like... So she put you out like 2, 3 in the morning? Uh, yeah, I, and it's crazy, like, I, I cried, like, I, bro, I, I cried, I was crying already. Like, you know, you know when you're chasing something, man, you're trying to make this, trying to make this shit work. And, man, I remember this shit like yesterday, bro. <laughs> like, I don't try to talk to her. She like, boy, if you don't go to sleep. I'm like, what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, okay. And that, that made me cry even harder. So I just walked in, the, and I walked in the living room and I was just like, damn, shit, like, all right, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And like I said, I had this, I, I'm so spiritual. I'm so connected with God. I had this bubblegum rapper, man. Um, all right, so you just heard what I had to say. He said that, he said that he had a job because people were making it seem that he was just um, trying to go viral or film comedy or whatever he was doing. But he said he had a job. So probably the job that he had, um we're not pay was, was not good enough was that enough to pay the bills or whatever they were trying to do and uh i'm gonna show you guys the comments under the clip you got some people saying um breaking up be the best thing for men for real most n words lives change for the better after breaking up with a girl they thought they was going to be with forever somebody else says so he wanted her to work and pay all bills while he shot content all day and also you got some men in the comments saying that um he was basically blaming the girl for not supporting desi banks and i said this um as someone who has been paying attention to social media from myspace to facebook to uh 
Vine and Instagram, nah, Twitter, X, all that stuff. When when people start doing comedy sketches, right? I think I would say when I'm not Vine, people are doing it on Facebook. Vine really like took it to another dimension. I never thought that this would be a thing that people can make money off of, right? It was just people clowning, being funny, doing all type of different things, just like YouTube, right? When YouTube first started, people were just doing things like nobody thought in a million years that somebody could can become a multimillionaire off of YouTube. So I don't know, maybe his girl um, was probably one of those people that were not on social media like that. And I don't think Desi can blame her or be mad at her for not supporting him because let's be honest, the type of stuff that he posts, it's not like he needs, you know, uh, a high quality camera he gotta shoot a certain scene around a certain time of day to get the perfect lighting it's not like he's writing maybe he's writing um some down but it's not like you know he <laughs> you need to be like from harvard you know what i'm saying to be right the top he just do he just does like basic relatable comedy i don't think his comic sketch is gonna win any emmy anytime soon so i don't know why he could not find another job to help his girl while also doing comedy his stuff is like basically the most it's like 15 minutes tops because that's why that's one of the reasons why guys like desi banks is popular because this stuff is like short to the point you know what i'm saying you don't you gotta watch the whole thing to get what's going on like and also i think you gotta be lucky to go viral on social media because people think that just because every couple of days somebody's always going viral you gotta understand out of like for every one person that go viral thousands don't right because you got people that would have a certain genre like i said right now the whole ratchet comedy is like a thing right now so you got a lot of people doing that type of stuff posting on tiktok posting on youtube and nobody's paying attention right and also i think it's just the stars are like lined up for people that do that type of stuff right because you gotta think cable people are not really watching tv like that anymore because cable is expensive and i don't think has that been any show has that been any show on tv worth watching now um most people can afford to get a phone now uh fast internet everybody has has access to social media because it's free so there has been a lot of things to line up and also you can either go viral by, you know what I'm saying, uh, not viral, but you can get popularity on social media by staying consistent. Um, or you have some people, I think people like Desi Banks, who go viral, let's just say a big um, streamer or YouTuber like Kai Sinat react to your stuff on this platform and then a lot of people will go to you know, check out more your stuff and you get a lot more popularity. So it's not like, you know, trying to be a social media comedian is like guaranteed to you now say make you money not a lot of people make it it's like trying to get into the nba or the nfl you know what i'm saying thousands of people would try but only a few would make it and then you gotta stay consistent not only when you make it but you gotta you know what i'm saying keep your position because like i said you got a lot of people coming up you got the juice keys that's the big uh new people coming in and whatever was trending now might not be trending in a couple of years because like i said vine was a big thing like the type of comedy people would do on Vine was like, you know, um, you know, black people would be like, and they would do, do the thing like, and then eventually nobody cares about Vine anymore. Vine shot down and I think he's making good money. And um, I think the new uh, social media comedians are smarter now. They are looking up with rappers. They are looking up with athletes, you know what I'm saying, to um, network. But I think Desi should have been doing more if that's somebody you care about in I, I don't know what type of job his girlfriend was doing, but clearly it wasn't enough, right? Can you imagine you just, you know what I'm saying, get off, get off of work, you go home, and your boyfriend's just sitting there shooting comedy that he, she probably thought it wasn't funny. <laughs> Maybe she thought your stuff was funny. Maybe she would have been more likely to support you. I don't think you can force it on somebody to support your dream. It's your dream. It's not our dream. That's what you wanted to do. She did not sign up for this. Not that I'm saying she didn't like you. She probably thought that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you would have gotten a job to help around the house. So yeah, I think he could have definitely gotten a 
another job or a better paying job to help with the bills. I don't think he, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's trying to make it sound like, yeah, the girl should have stuck around. <clears throat> the girl should have stuck around. Look at me now. I'm getting money. You know what I'm saying? I think I saw someone that he says he owns multiple homes and uh, uh, trucks and stuff like that. But maybe it was for the best. Maybe that's what he needed to be in the position that, you know, he's at. Somebody else says is the starting when you don't have a partner or even parents who will support your dreams. Yes, out of every one dream or may not be come or may not come true. However, that still doesn't take away from some uh, one feeling hurt or being discouraged when the partner slash parents don't support their dream. I don't know, man. I don't know. Dreams don't pay bills. Okay. Dreams don't be don't pay bills. Uh, <laughs> I think two things can be true. But you gotta compromise in the middle. You can't just leave everybody everything to your parents or your partner just so you can go do something that you know what I'm saying they don't see. You gotta like and then again, he's filming sketches. Like people are making this sound like he was in the lab, like trying to build the next uh electric engine or something. Like he was trying to be the next uh Elon Musk. The guy was just filming comedy sketches on his phone. Like he could have been he, he could have gotten a job like this this is not the same i can understand this guy was like uh trying to build uh some some new technology like he was trying to come up with some like medicine i'm saying some the next groundbreaking thing you know so something that he studied for some some that he went to school for then i get it but the guy was just filming comedy sketches of his phone like especially nowadays like social media is oversaturated everybody trying to go viral and um, he might have been the lucky one because I don't think he's like that funny to me. Okay, it's okay if you find him funny, but I think he got lucky um, to be in the position that he's at because I see other people that's like way more fun, way more funny than Desi Banks. I think he's smart and he you know he got through and he's running with it, but nah, I don't think he should have uh, forced it upon his girl to pick up all the bills while he's out here chasing his dreams i don't go with that um this is my opinion if you think otherwise leave it down in the comments and i see you guys on the next one